Hello, this is Alexey. I continue to publish video tutorials and reviews. If this video will be useful to you, please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button under this video. In this way, you will help other users to find necessary information and my channel will be run better. All links from the video can be found in the description below. In previous free video tutorials, we create website on Joomla 4 from scratch. We used only free extensions. The result was a business website which was uploaded to the hosting. Previously recorded video tutorials for Joomla 4 are almost completely relevant for current version of Joomla 5.1. The information from this video tutorial remained relevant for Joomla 4 as well. At least this is true on May 25, 2024. In this video tutorial we will talk about fields. Fields is a free component built into Joomla and designed to create custom fields that can be used in articles, contacts or other native and even some third-party extensions. With the help of custom fields you can simplify structure and improve the information on the website. You can also supplement the information on the website with additional data. This can be done for articles, article categories, user contacts, categories of contacts, contact feedback form, and third-party extensions, if they support. For example, such support is available in LinkyMap and MyMaps location. Fields are very good for creating catalogs, for example, movies, vacancies, and so on. Fields allow you to filter items using the filter module, for example, JFilter. And for this there is no need to use third-party extensions such as FlexiContent, K2, Zoo, and so on. On this Joomla 5 and 4 demo website template, we can see that content categories are supplemented with data from the fields. Here they are. And this is what the article page looks. The data in the Great Edge cartoon is information from the fields. Let's see the admin panel. Here is the article. Here is our custom fields, and here is our age, price, time, and so on. Here they are. This section is also created with fields. Here it is. Here is the title, here is the images, skill name, and skill description. Please note that the design and position of the fields depends on the styles included in the website template. This section is also created with fields. This is frequency asking questions, question, answer. Also, the next section. Here it is. Is also created by custom fields. Here they are. So, as you can see, this is a very powerful tool. On my website I have test category. There are three articles. Let's add some fields here. First, we need go to content, field groups, and create new field group. For example, it will be called test. Let's go here. Let's create new field. There are a lot of types of field. I won't show all of them. I will show just a few to show you an examples. Let's select checkboxes. I will call it Joomla or better call it Joomla version. Let's add new value. It will be Joomla 3, Joomla 4, and Joomla 5. I won't select any field group category to show you an example what we've got without it. Go to Articles, here is my test article, 
here we can see fields, we can select Joomla 3, just save it, update the page and we can see Joomla version Joomla 3. Also we can see it here. Now let's move this field to the top test. For this purpose go back to fields, select Joomla version and select test field group. Go here. Now we can see new top test and we can see our field Joomla version. Let's create new field. It will be price. This will be radio type. Let's create new text and value. It will be paid and free. It will be our test group. Let's create new field called data. It will be calendar. It will belong to test group. Let's save it. Go to articles. Go to test one article. Select some data, for example, here. And let's add some values to fields in other articles. So, if we will update our page, we can see three custom fields, Joomla version, price and data. As I mentioned before, there are a lot of custom field types. Each of them have some similar options to each other and other are unique. I won't work with all options. I'll just show you some most interesting, in my opinion, options in some of the fields. For example, Joomla version. Here we can see the title and the label. Let's see where the label and the title shows. For example, here, here, save it, update the page. We can see this, this is the label and here we can see the label too. So, the title we can see just here and the label we can see on the website and in the articles. This field can be required, for example, like this. Save, update the page and we can see that this is the required mark. So, we cannot save the article without selecting some options here. Also, we can set default value. What does it mean? For example, create new article, go here and we can see no selection here. And now, for example, let's add Joomla 3 default value. Now let's create new article and we can see by default that Joomla 3 is marked. Here we can publish and publish and so on this field. Also we can set the group of fields, we already talked about that. And here we can select a category of articles to which this field will be belong to. With categories we already work in previous video tutorials. Here you can set access. With access we already work in previous video tutorial. And now let's go to our option tab and see some interesting options. For example, we can hide label. Or change the display of this field. For example, after display content. Update the page. We can see it move from here to here. Also, we can see it here 
It disappeared and appeared at the bottom. There are other options, for example, after title, here it is, or we can select don't automatically display. What does it mean? For example, we won't see this field anywhere here, but we can place it, for example, here or here or wherever you want. For this purpose we can use placeholder from the plugin. Let's go to plugins. Here we can see fields plugin. On the Joomla extension directory you can find other plugins from third-party developers. You can add them and use on your website. Some of these plugins have options. For example, you can select options for the fields by default if you select them here. But we are looking not for these plugins, we are looking for content plugin called fields. Here we can see the pla placeholder we want. Here it is. There are other options of this placeholder, or we don't even need this placeholder, because we need to go to Articles, go here, and let's insert it, for example, here. We can insert this placeholder, but we need to know the ID of desired field. We need to insert Joomla with ID 2. Here it is. We need to change this number, save it, update the page and we can see our field, or we can delete it and insert field by click here. Here we can select our Joomla version, save it, update it and we can see our field. Let's change this option like this, before display content, here it is, let's show our label, here we can see search index, in previous video tutorial we already worked with Smart Search and in this way you can enable search in the field with the Smart Search. As I already said at the beginning of this video tutorial, here we can set add some filter to filter these articles by fields values. We can use this free filter, just sign up or if you already register login. Go to Downloads, download the latest version and install it. After this, go to System, Site Modules, how to work with modules you can find out in my previous video tutorial. Here we can see J filters. Let's change the status to Publish. Select position side by right. If you don't know what does this mean, positions, you can watch my previous video tutorial about templates. Here we need, for example, on all pages, just select it, save it. Here we can see we need to create menu item for result page. Let's create it. I'll call it results. How to work with menu items and menus you can learn from my previous video tutorial. Just save it, save and close. This will be results. Save, update the page and if you don't see any filter here, just close the module, go to components, J filter and re-index all fields. But even now 
if I update the page, I won't see anything here, because I need to select some fields that I want to see in my filter model. For example, Joomla version and price. Update the page, and we can see our filter. Here are three our articles. Just click Joomla 3, and we can see one article. Or Joomla 4, or Joomla 5, or just free articles or paid articles. In the next video tutorial, we will talk about banner components built into Joomla. I hope this and other Joomla video tutorials have helped you with this CMS. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Alexey. See you soon in new tutorials.